I've been drawing and painting and pretty much anything I could get my hands on that was artsy from the time I could pick up a pencil. And shortly after high school, I was hanging out with one of my really good friends a lot. Every time we were hanging out over at her house, she was tattooing and I just found it absolutely fascinating and saw it as, you know, one other medium that I could kind of get my hands on. And started playing around with it a little bit here and there and she let me use her equipment for my first tattoo and I, I fell in love with it. And, you know, eventually I did get into it professionally instead of just doing it as a hobby. You know, it was definitely the best move that I ever made. As far as a profession, tattooing was really the first thing I got into that was kind of pushing my creative side of things. And, you know, just in the short time that I've been in tattooing, I think some of the most significant changes that I've seen is just the acceptance that has been driven through society and, and the types of people that are getting tattooed. I think that it's just becoming more and more common part of daily culture. I mean, it's almost more uncommon to find someone who doesn't have a tattoo nowadays than someone who does. You get all kinds of walks that, that come in the door, whether it's black and gray realism or color or tribal work or anything like that. But definitely by far my favorite is new school tattooing, which is really exaggerated perspectives, crazy color schemes that just complement each other and contrast each other. I think what draws me most to that style of tattooing is just how much it challenges your creativity. You really have to reach deep inside to, to find imagery and to just warp things in ways that reality, as we know it, doesn't really show. I think the stigma that everyone thinks of, you know, when tattooing first became popular, it was bikers and gangbangers and military folks, and there wasn't really a lot of people in between there that were getting tattooed. But the shift in that demographic has already taken place a lot in the last 20 years or so. I mean, nowadays you're tattooing everybody. You're tattooing doctors and lawyers and CEOs. You're tattooing police officers and firefighters. And I think you're gonna start seeing more and more professional environments allowing visible tattoos. And I, I think ultimately it's just gonna become a part of an accepted daily culture. It's always been my dream to be able to work for myself and kind of set my own hours and, you know, the locations that I want to work and travel and being able to surround yourself with the people that inspire you or that push you or motivate you and surrounding yourself with those individuals is really, I think, what anyone dreams of doing, um, you know, as a career. Um, and what better way to do that than to run your own business and choose who you get to be around with every day and where you get to travel and challenge myself to, to just be more.